Hello everyone. In this video, we will be going over how to set up the navigation bar for our website. We will create a new component for our navbar. In the terminal, let's type ng g c nav skip test, then press enter. We now have a new folder for our nav component. Let's go ahead and add this component to our app root HTML template. Let's open up the app component HTML file and add a new line under the app header. Add the nav component on that new line. Then let's go back to our site. On the left hand side, we can see the default navworks text which means our nav component is now visible on our site. Now it's time to start styling our nav bar. Let's go back to our project. Go ahead and open the HTML template file for our nav bar. Next, let's remove the default text and replace it with a nav element. We're going to give this nav element the following classes of navbar expand md border bottom, margin bottom 3. Next, we're going to add a div inside this nav element and give it the class of container. I'm going to show you a quick shortcut here. We can initialize our div with the container class by typing div.container and then press enter. Typing a web element followed by a period and then the name of a class will create the element with that class. This just helps save us some time. Inside of this div, we're going to create a list that will contain the names of the different sections of our website. Inside of the div, let's type ul.nav.justifyContentCenter and then press enter. Inside of our list, let's create a list item by typing li nav item and press enter and inside of our list item we'll create a link by typing a dot nav link dot text secondary and press enter we can remove the href property from this a tag and let's add the text home to it as well Let's take a break for a second and take a look at our site again. We're starting to see our navbar come together. We're still missing links to the other sections of our website, so let's go back to our project and add those. Go ahead and copy this list item, then paste it three times. For each of our new list items, we will change the text to Portfolio, Resume, and Contact respectively. Let's take a look at our site again. It's almost complete. If we take a look at the finished site, We can see we're still missing the shadow effect below the navbar, so let's go back to our project. To add the shadow effect, let's go to our app root HTML template. In here, we're going to wrap both our header and our navbar in a div that has the shadow class. We can do that by typing div shadow sm and then pressing enter. Then we will bring our two components into that div. Let's take a look at our site again. We have finished designing our navbar. If you try to click on any of these links you'll find that they don't do anything yet. That is because we still need to implement the functionality that is needed for these links to navigate to different parts of our site. And that will be the topic of the next video. 
feel free to continue along to the next video where we will work on adding that functionality to our navbar. Thanks for watching.